हरि ओम एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू स्टोरी टाइम विथ राधिका टुडे स्टोरी इज क्वाइट एन इंटरेस्टिंग वन सो लॉन्ग लॉन्ग टाइम अगो इन दिस फॉरेस्ट ऑन दिस ब्यूटिफुल बिग मैंगो ट्री देर लिव अ मंकी एवरी डे ही वुड ईट जूसी मंकीज एंड स्विंग फ्रॉम वन ब्रांच टू दी अदर सिंगिंग श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम एंड ही लिव अ वेरी हैप्पी लाइफ very content he had his juicy mangoes there was a big river flowing right under the tree but this guy was so skilled at swinging from branch to branch that he swung and he was happy there now one day a crocodile came like crocodiles come he snuck there and he was waiting for this monkey to actually fall so he could actually eat the monkey but of course the monkey didn't fall he was very skilled jumping But while he was waiting, the crocodile ended up swallowing some of those juicy mangoes, and he was like, "Wow, this is so tasty!" And he said, "Okay, I'm going to eat up every single mango that's on the tree on the river." And he looked up. He saw because the monkey was jumping, you know, from branch to branch and singing merrily. As he was jumping, the mangoes kept falling. Right. So this crocodile struck up a conversation with the monkey, and he said, um, "Hey, monkey, uh, you know whatever." And then they became the bestest of friends. So the crocodile would come there every day, talk to the monkey. The monkey would tell him great Rama stories, and monkey was so simple, and he was so happy living on those mangoes on that tree. Now, crocodile became such good friends with this monkey that he almost. forgot that he had a wife at home so he spent started spending a lot of time here with the monkey and having fun and even when he went home he would only keep talking about that monkey now this crocodile's wife had had enough she was like what is going on my wife sorry my husband doesn't even come home and when he comes home all he is doing is he is singing praises of this monkey i have to do something in order to get rid of this monkey so she thinks the next day when the crocodile is out having you know fun conversations discussing rama stories with the monkey she comes up with a plan what is her plan before her husband comes home she ties a big patti on her on um you know her head and so what she did was right before her hu- her husband came back home she took a big cloth she tied it on her head and she slept there sitting there like, oh oh it hurt so much he thought so she kept on mourning like that and then he comes and he says what happened my sweet wife what is wrong with you how can i make you feel better she says what is the use of telling you my head is just splitting is just going to burst but there's no you and he immediately says what you know i love you very dearly please tell me i'll do anything what is the medicine you need i'll go get it she slowly says well i checked with the doctor also but there is no use of telling you what the medicine is you will never get it for me now crocodile got really this thing what don't you know i love you please tell me i'll go bring it promise pinky square i'll bring it you know uh um, for you so she says well when i consulted the doctor the doctor said if i apply the paste of a monkey's heart ground into a paste and that if i applied the headache will go away crocodile was like what monkey's heart ground into a paste how can i ever get that she says well it's very easy for you you have a friend no bring him bring his heart and he says what bring my friend's heart and put it as a headache patch for you what do you even mean she says see i knew it you don't love me at all i knew you would say how can i do it to my friend so fine oh my headache and she starts crying again so the crocodile doesn't know what to do and she say, he says okay fine but then the crocodile says You know wife I have there is a problem if I have to get his heart he needs to come down from the tree but he is always swinging from branch to branch that I can never get him down so she says 
Well, I have an idea for you. She sits up and she says, tell him I have invited you home for uh, a meal and say that my wife is going to cook you a delicious meal and feed you. So hop on my back and let me take you to my house. He says, okay, I will do that. The next day morning, the crocodile wakes up. And when he opens both his eyes, what does he see? What is his wife up to? A big plaster again on her hand. She's like, oh, it's hurting so much. Oh, it's hurting so much. So he says, okay, okay, don't worry, wife. I'm going and I'll bring the medicine for you. So he goes, he calls his friend. He says whatever they had planned. Oh, my wife is going to cook a meal for you. Come on, monkey. Jump on my back. Let's go. So the monkey is very happy. He says, Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. And he jumps on his back. And they're going halfway through the, you know, um, river to the crocodile's house. The crocodile feels really sorry for his friend. You know, after all, he really likes his friend, right? He found the conversations interesting with him. So he tells him the truth. He says, you know, I'm not really taking you home to feed you, but I'm taking you home to kill you. For a minute, the monkey didn't know what to say. He was just there. And then the crocodile went ahead and said, this is what my wife asked you to tell, you know, asked me to tell you as though I'm inviting you home for lunch. But it's actually because she has a headache, you know, and the medicine is basically the ground heart of a monkey. That's why I'm taking you. What did the monkey do? Did he panic? Did he cry? Did he jump into the water and try to run away? No, he stayed there and he very earnestly prayed to Bhagwan Shri Ram. He says, oh God, please, please tell me a way. Show me a way. How do I come out of this supremely tough situation? If I don't do anything now, I will be dead shortly. What should I do? As he was praying and meditating and sitting calmly, a beautiful thought occurred in his head. He took a few deep breaths in, he calmed down and immediately an idea came to him. And he started laughing loudly. <sighs> and now our crocodile is very confused. He's like, how come you're laughing? I thought you would either panic and be scared or he would get really upset and mad with me. How come you're laughing? So now the monkey says, you know, it is a futile task for you to take me to your house because you need my heart and my heart is on the tree, on the mango tree. Crocodile is very confused. He said, how come? How come you left your heart in the mango tree? He says, you know, I'm very scared of the water. And if I jumped into the water, I felt my heart would get wet. I didn't want my heart to get wet. So I kept it on the tree. Well, if you really need my heart for your wife's medicine, headache medicine, you have to take me back so I can give you the heart. So why don't you turn around? And this crocodile, who was a completely foolish crocodile, did not have brains at all. He decided, oh, that might be true. Let me take the monkey back home. So as soon as the monkey came back home, what did he do? Jumped up onto the tree and went far away. Now our crocodile is sitting there waiting for the monkey to throw his heart down so he could take it home, etc. He waited one hour, two hours and three hours later, the crocodile says, monkey, please throw me your heart. I'm waiting to take it to my wife. And the monkey says, go away from here, crocodile. How mean and nasty of you. If you were really, truly a friend of mine, would you do this to me? You wouldn't take me home to kill me. Never ever come back here again. You're not a true friend of mine. That's it. That's the story. What did you learn from the story, you guys? I have Navya's hand. Go ahead, Navya. Um, to not lie and to tell the truth. Yes, to not lie and tell the truth. Yeah. Akshaj. Always first oh. First, notice if those people are good friends, and it's always good to have a backup plan in case of an emergency. Yes. And always pray to God. Always pray to God. Yes. When you're in a tough situation, prayer helps. 
deep breathing helps, right? If you're really, uh, you know, frizzled about a situation, can you really think uh, and get to creative ideas? That's never the case, right? Yeah. Any other thoughts? No? All right. With that, stay safe. Use your brain. Use your brain. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, well, always uh, don't, uh, don't, 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 uh, caught up in if somebody praises you, somebody does. Use your brain always. Yes, yes. Think, think and act. Yeah. Yeah. Rashmi, you want to share something? You have to unmute though. Identify your friends, right? Right friends. Identify your right friends. You know, something else also struck to me. Now, because this crocodile made a new friend, he completely, you know, lost track of his time and everything and didn't really pay attention to people in his family also, no? For them to take such a drastic measure. Oh, I have to do something to get back my husband and get rid of this friend altogether. Instead of that, you know, if... If the crocodile also remembered, oh, I need to go spend some time with my yeah. wife, maybe this situation would not have happened. He could have had his friend also for a long time. No, your limit. <laughs> yes, uh, playing within your limits, taking care of everybody around you equally. Yeah, very, very important. What else? I see a new person, Diksha. Any thoughts? Abhinav, any thoughts? Nitya, Nitra? No? All right. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, and most of all, stay inspired. I'll see you again on Story Time with Radhika.